I'm back. So, um, I thought I would film a video of uh, playing with a wig. I've never used wigs before and I'm scared. Oh, I only have my light on. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I bought a wig on Amazon for $37.99, I believe. And I've never worn wigs in my life. And I thought I should try because I want to have different colored hair, but I don't want to keep damaging mine because mine's kind of ratty. <laughs> So anyway, so I bought this one online. Charisma, Charisma. This is the bag it came in. Um, for any of you that like ASMR. <laughs> okay. And so it comes in this bag. She's obviously back there, just waiting. Um, and it comes with this little card. I haven't even looked at this to be honest. But here's all the features, minimum shedding and stuff. Lots of good stuff there, if you care. I've never put on a wig before. Well, I have worn this wig, but I cheated. I wore a hat with it, so I wouldn't have to like glue down and deal with the lace and all that stuff. I already cut it, so that's probably wrong just from the start. <laughs> but yeah, here she is. I just put her on my banana to keep her head shaped. Um, I got just a little ombre. It's Kind of natural looking, you know, nothing crazy. No, no pink hair yet, but I do want to get pink hair wig. Um, you probably can't even see, but it looks pretty nice. I mean, I'm not a wigger, so I don't know what you know standard to be looking at. But this one seems nice. It's pretty soft. It is a little bit uh, frizzy and tangly, but that's just like normal hair. So yeah, the only thing I don't know if this is normal for wigs, but you can kind of see like. Maybe you can't. You can kind of see right through the back, like there, it's very thin. There's my nails. I don't know. I don't know. Who looks at the back of your head when you're wearing a wig though? They probably just look here. The inside looks cool. I don't know how to review wigs because I've never worn one. So we're just gonna learn as we go, okay? But yeah, it was cheap. I figured why not? So I'm just gonna move the cam over to the mirror area so that I can put this on and try to make it look real or natural. Um, it probably won't. <laughs> I think I cut everything I need to. I, I don't know if you can see. I did cut the lace a little bit. I don't know, I just made it shorter. I saw somebody comment on YouTube because I watched a lot of wig videos. I watched so many before I ordered this wig just to make sure like, is this something I can figure out? Well, everybody kind of said leave the lace like that much, like maybe half an inch, three quarters of an inch. That way you can still have enough. Sorry, that was my phone. Um, yeah, so you can still have enough to play with in case it's wrong. I don't know. I have my hair back today. Let's go. Okay, the lighting is probably really bad. Okay, so I have some things here to prepare for the wig. I have a hairbrush. I have dry shampoo which I think I might need for that, just in case the wig gets a little greasy. An unnecessary amount of bobby pins in this. I have, oh, I haven't even opened this. Unboxing. <laughs> I have this got to be uh, glue stuff. I saw a lot of the girls using this when they were putting on their wigs. But this is just like a hair gel. Where are you? Ugh. Got to be glue, yep. Let's see. I have scissors in case I need to cut the lace any which way, or around my ears or something. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I have a wig cap that the wig actually came with um, in the packaging, which is nice. I appreciate that, because I didn't want to spend the extra coin on a wig cap. Just one. Or may- oh, actually, I think there's two. Oh yeah, you just kind of open it up and there's two. Sorry, I can't- I don't know what I'm showing you. <laughs> I have this. This is a hair dryer, as you can see clearly with your eyes. It's pink though, and it's dusty because I never use hair dryers ever. Okay, so let's get that wig. Oh, first, <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. I need to do something about this. So I have pretty flat hair, so I don't really need to do much about concealing it under the wig. I just split it into two sections at the back and I'm just gonna twist. Bobby pins. Do I still sound like I have asthma, like I'm out of breath? I feel like it. I'll just kind of make like a like a U shape with it. 
And somebody talk to me in the comments. Well, I just want somebody to comment on these videos. Okay, one side done. Okay, so we're going to apply the wig now. This has some adjustments in here. Like it has, um, can you see? Probably not. It seems to fit my head pretty well, so I'm just gonna leave it alone. And then you gotta just do the little flip and put it on. Let's wig. Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> This feels just like how I expected it to feel. I'm gonna put the wig cap on. I'm gonna be a great YouTuber. Wig cap, because I'm just a silly goose. I forgot. Oh, this really fits on my head. Wow. Oh, I don't know. Oh my god. It's like a condom on my head. Wow! I like really get it. This is probably not supposed to be here. Don't be rude. Ah! Oh my god, this is so frustrating. I don't like wigs. Okay, that feels tight. This piece of hair is bothering me because it just wants to be like this. But I really like this style. I wish I could pull off short hair like this. Is that lipstick all over my chin? Yay! My Roomba vacuum is past time. It's calm. It's my mom, by the way. Let's put some styling gel, and then they I've seen them use the hair dryer on it to dry it, cement it to my head. Is this too much lace? I should get a headband. Okay, let's get a headband. I'm so prepared. just looks a bit longer. Okay. <laughs> Let's just go with that. Oh. I'm now getting some glue. And I'm just gonna... Man, I'm scared. On there? Okay. I think this is how they do it. This is itchy. Ooh. This just took it up a notch with the itchiness. Okay. Ooh. Now we need to hair dry it, right? Use this guy. I'll go low. Ooh. Ah, <laughs> Alright, that feels pretty. So now I think it's the part where you get foundation. I'll just put some foundation on it. So let me go grab foundation because I'm super prepared. So I have this, I don't wear foundation so I just found this one in my room that has dust all over it. It's a Lumi True Match. Don't know when I got this and then I have this little tiny brush that my mom got me for Christmas in like a big set. It's not the actual, um, I don't know why I want to call them horseshoe brush, but you know what I'm talking about. The expensive one, $100 one. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I don't know how old this is. <laughs> I don't wear foundation, I just found this. Oh, I don't even know if that's my color, but we shall see. I didn't even think, am I gonna need powder? Well, this isn't gonna look good at all, so I don't know why I'm so worried about it. But let's see. Ooh, wow, this is really not going well. <laughs> I'll try doing this side, maybe you can see this side. I'm just kind of rubbing this. Ah, get all this hair out of here. And this is totally not my color either. Maybe if I just stand far enough away, you won't be able to tell. Is it obvious? Is the white U at the top of my head very obvious? 
I feel like now that I've actually tried all this stuff, I know what not to do and how to do it right the next time. Does it look like a me? Let's see what this does. Let's see if this gets better. Just take off the headband and then let it fall naturally. Um, but I do kind of dig how deep the part is. I mean, well, I don't know if that's like deep for a wig, but I feel like it is. Most of the wigs I have saw people review online, the parts were like this long. So this one is uh, slightly better. It's more like this long. Or, oh wait, this might work. Let me. Okay, my camera just stopped recording, so I don't know. It made a beep sound as I ran out the door, but this is where we're at. I'm trying. I have a headband. This might just be able to cover up the atrocity going on at the top of my forehead. So let's see. Uh, okay. Now this, this could be good for winter. Oh, this looks kind of cute though. But I was thinking with big old headbands, you know, like they wear in winter, the big ones that go across their forehead like that. Maybe I could just get some of those and wear a wig and nobody will know. And this covers up, this just exposes the baby hairs over here, so it looks natural, right? Just do that over here. Get those baby hairs out, and voila. <laughs> I think this looks a little bit better than where we were a second ago, right? Does it look natural? Do I, do I look like, is this my hair? Like. Imagine you just met me and that was how I turned around. You just, does it look like my hair? Let's brush it. Let's, oh, this feels nice. I like brushing it. If I can put it further back on my head. <laughs> Hold on. You know, like that. Now that looks more like what we're talking about here. Should I get my full ear out or just half ear? I don't know if that's gonna ruin it. Does this look like my hair? <laughs> Let's just keep brushing it. I think it could pass. Let me pull my ear out though. Maybe if my ear is out, it looks more natural. Okay, so this looks better, right? I actually think this looks kind of good. Looking at it now, right? <laughs> I think it's fine. I think that I could actually go wear this now. I think I will. I think I will keep this on my head. It's very hot and it's itchy, but you know what? The things we do, right, ladies? All right, well, I guess I shall wrap this video up back at my little area just to give my final thoughts. <laughs> my final thoughts of this wig, tell me what you think. I'll get a little closer. I tried. I think I could wear this for the rest of the day. This might look okay. God, who is that? So thanks for watching. If you made it this far, I don't know how long this video is gonna be. I need to cut it down, so. Have I said anyways at all during this video? I hope not. <sighs> Again, that was by Charisma. Charisma. If you are interested in ordering a wig off Amazon, they have so many wigs to choose from. There's so many styles, colors, lengths, everything off Amazon. They're all around like 40-ish bucks. So if you do want to try wigs, I would recommend maybe starting with them because they're not bad quality. This one doesn't feel bad. I mean, it feels fake, obviously, but it doesn't feel like it's not a horrible wig, but I've never felt a, like a high-end wig either, so I don't know. But this one feels pretty good. It looks pretty natural. I mean, just as itself, if, like when I wore my hat, it looked fine. It looked totally natural, it looked like my hair. It was actually really cute uh, with the hat on, just the style, so yeah. I'll probably order more wigs and I'll probably just butcher putting them on again, just for the fun of it, so. Um, Anyways... Damn it, I said it anyway.
Okay, well, thank you for watching this video. If you want, you can leave a comment um, telling me what to film next, if you're interested, or what you hated most about this video. Okay. <laughs> I still don't know how to say goodbye. So, I'll just let my banana say goodbye.